Tonight, we are telling you something good as we hear from restaurateur and philanthropist Russell Salvatore, who has a long history of helping out our local community. And I recently sat down with Russell to talk about the charity work that he's already done and how he plans on giving away his fortune to help those in need. I'll never say no that well, I know it's going to help a lot of people. Russell Salvatore is now 84 years old and he's arguably Buffalo's best known restaurateur. He told me recently he wants to give away every penny he has before he dies. Before I hope I live another two years and then I won't own a penny. I mean, I don't spend much money. I don't go no place anymore. I mean, I get a deal on my steaks over here. <laughs> Russell left high school to work in his family's restaurant and then decided to go it alone in the late 60s. He's aware of his reputation as the toughest and most demanding boss you could ever work for, but also admits that his wealth did not happen by accident. He certainly paid a price. I work from 7 o'clock in the morning till midnight every single day, seven days a week. 68 years I've been doing it. I love it more. I love my customer. My customer became my family. It's stupid to say that, but my customer, when you come in, I light up like a light bulb. When Russell started his charitable foundation, he began giving away hundreds and millions of dollars to local charities and those in need. A million dollars to ECMC, Children's Hospital, Kevin Guesthouse, the Red Cross, the Buffalo Zoo, the Heritage Learning Center, Buff State, and Lancaster Boys and Girls Club, and you get the idea, the list goes on and on. I'm fortunate enough the Lord made me and opened my eyes how important it is to give back. Recently, Russell gave me a tour of his favorite place on earth. And it's not a restaurant or a hotel. It's his Heroes and Patriots Park that took six years to complete. He told me it's his pride and joy and nothing else comes close. I'm out here all day in the summer. I gave up golf for the park, you know, but I love it. This is an important place to you. Yes, it is. Very, very nice. You feel comfortable in here? I do. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I come out here with my schnauzers once in a while and, and I meet a lot of nice people, a lot of nice people. The park is on a prime piece of land on Transit Road in Lancaster. It includes several memorials for those who perished during 9-11, Flight 3407, and the Battle of the Bulge, and many other monuments close to his heart. Even a well-known mausoleum built just for him. The mausoleum, I'm lucky, that's my place of, to rest in. You're gonna get sun all day, Russell. You yeah, love I'm, the sun. I'll have a tan all the You'll time. You'll have a tan all the time. Yeah. Russell told me his proudest charitable moment happened recently when he called his friend Jim Basil and donated 10 vans to the VA to help transport disabled veterans. Taking care of the veterans was, I would say, the luckiest thing I did. Russell realizes he's not getting any younger and will continue to give away his riches to those in need. Just ask him. People give much more than I do, but I will be remembered as probably as the finest philanthropist that ever was around. They could help people and I want to go that way as one of the nicest guys and not a so-and-so.